to non-adding and subtracting integers, one of the five activities within the Operations Module of Middle School Math HD for the iPad. First of all, let's look at some standard rules for adding integers. Um, and anytime we add a positive, we're going to increase in value, and anytime we add a negative, we're going to decrease in value. Uh, and there's some examples out on the left side of the screen, but because we're going to get uh, into more detail with the examples in the coming slides, we're going to uh, move forward. So we have 2 plus 5, um, and we're going to show that two different ways. We're going to show it using counters, and we're also going to show it on a number line. So we're showing two positive counters, and I'm going to use uh, red uh, for positive, um, as I associate it with, with hot, and um, we're going to use blue counters for, for negative, which we can associate with cold. So we're starting with two uh, red counters, two positive counters, and we're going to add in five additional counters. And that just basically shows that 2 plus 5 is 7. Uh, and we're also going to show that on a number line. Uh, so the caveman is at uh, position 2 to start, uh, and he's looking towards the plus sign. So he's looking towards the greater numbers, because because he's adding, he's he, his inclination is, is to go to the higher numbers. Uh, so he's going to go uh, that direction, uh, and he's going to walk five steps forward. Okay, he's adding a positive number, so he's going to walk five steps forward uh, to seven. Okay, this time uh, we're looking at six plus negative two. Uh, and we have, again, the six uh, counters, uh, positive counters on the screen. Uh, and this time we're going to add in two negative counters. Uh, so we have a mix. We have, we have six positives and, and two negatives. So what do we do? Well, we, haven't really, we can't really uh, answer the question yet because we, we do have two different colors. We, we have to make it so that we either have all positives uh, or all negatives, one, or one, one color or the other. So what we can do now um, to eliminate um, you know, one of the colors is to start grouping them. Uh, we can group a, a positive with a negative, and when we do that, uh, we essentially neutralize, okay? because the, the positive and the negative cancel each other out, and they make what we call a zero. Okay? So what we're left with is um, positive four. Okay, and we can show that on a number line again. And here's our caveman starting at position six. Uh, and he's looking again because he's adding in that direction. He wants to go, his inclination is to, is to go higher. Um, but instead, this time, he's actually being told he's got to add a negative number. So really, he, although he's looking in that direction because he's adding a negative, he's going to shuffle back two steps uh, to positive four. Okay, so we're decreasing in value. Okay, this time we're at uh, negative 7, we're going to add positive 9, and we can see that we have 7 negative counters on the screen. So we're going to add in 9 positives, um, and just like last time, we can't leave it with negatives and positives. To actually solve this, we, we need to start cancelling. So what we're going to do is uh, group these together, any positive with a negative, and we can see that all we have left over after we, we group together uh, the 7 different zeros uh, is 2, uh, positive 2. Okay, and we can again show this on a number line, starting our caveman at negative 7 and uh, facing the direction of the plus sign because he, his inclination again is to, is, to, uh, is to increase in value because he's adding. Um, and this time he's adding a positive, so he's going to walk forward on that number line uh, and end at position 2. And finally, we're going to um, add negative 6 with negative 4. Uh, kind of a straightforward one here. Uh, we have negative six counters shown, and all we need to do is bring in uh, negative four or more counters. And we just add them up. Uh, we can see that we have negative ten counters. And we can show this on the number line, um, negative six. And again, we're adding. So uh, all the way at negative six, he's looking um, outside the depths of, of the negative numbers, and he's looking forward to, to the, uh, um, you know, up up towards the greater numbers. Um, but however, because the, he's uh, being told to add a negative number, he's actually again going to do that caveman uh, moonwalk and shuffle back um, uh, further into the depths of the, the negative numbers all the way back to negative 10. Okay, now let's look at uh, subtracting integers. Uh, anytime we subtract a positive number, we um, decrease in value, and anytime we subtract a negative, we actually increase in value. Uh, and that's sort of a really tricky thing for students to get their heads wrapped around, but we'll look at some uh, detailed examples on the coming slides. So first of all, we have 6 minus 5. So we're showing with the, the counters again, 6 positive chips, or 6 positive uh, counters, uh, and we're just simply going to take away uh, 5 of them. So we blast 5 of them out, uh, and we're left with 1. So pretty straightforward there. Uh, and with the caveman, this time he's looking, uh, because it's a subtraction question, he's looking uh, towards um, the lower numbers. Uh, and uh, he's going to subtract a positive, so he is going to walk forward. Uh, he's facing that direction, but he's going to walk forward to the number one. Five steps to the number one. Uh, this time, negative three, and he's going to subtract, or we're going to subtract five. 
Um, so what do we do? So we have negative 3 counter shown. We need to subtract away positive 5. Okay, there's no sign showing um, that that's a negative, so we're assuming that's a, po a positive 5. So how do we take away positive 5 when we only have negative shown? Sort of a confusing uh, thing to do. So we can't take away 5 red tokens when, when there aren't 5 red tokens on the screen. Uh, but what we can do is introduce red tokens as part of zeros. So what I'm going to do here is bring in five zeros. I haven't changed the value of anything. All I've done is bring in uh, five zeros that I'm going to use later on. Okay, so it's, I'm still showing negative three because all these other everything else on the screen is just canceling each other out. Um, but now, now that I have them here, now I can start actually performing the operations that I need to perform. I need to get rid of five tokens, five red tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to blast those tokens or shrink those tokens away, and I'm left with negative eight. Okay, so on the number line, we're at negative three, and we're looking, um, again, uh, because we're subtracting, we're looking at the, the minus sign, um, and we're subtracting a positive number, so we're going to walk forward, and we're going to walk forward five steps to negative eight. Okay, this time we're going to uh, start at two, and we're going to subtract seven. So um, we're going to start, obviously, with the two tokens, uh, two red tokens, but we need to take away seven tokens. Um, so a very challenging thing to do because we need to take away seven reds again when we only have two reds. So how do we do that? Well, I guess, I guess what we can do first of all is, is to take away the two reds um, that we do have. Um, but we still have to take away five more reds. So if you guess that we had to, what we have to do is introduce five zeros. Well, well you're right. We bring in uh, five zeros, and, and now that we have these zeros to, uh, to work with, we can get rid of the the five additional um, red tokens we need to 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 get rid of. So now we blast those away and we're left with negative 5. And on the number line, uh, we can show this. Uh, the caveman's positioned at uh, 2 and he's looking in the direction of the subtraction sign uh, and he's going to walk uh, 7 steps to uh, negative 5. Now uh, probably the most challenging um, concept to get your head wrapped around is this 2 minus uh, negative 9. Um, and we learn in the rules that we're somehow going to going to uh, increase in value from two. We're going to go up um, all the way. Uh, well, I won't give away the answer, but uh, somehow a negative uh, or a negative uh, or when you subtract a negative, uh, you're going to go up in value. So a confusing idea to to begin with. But anyway, let's let's tackle it. Uh, we have two positive counters, and we need to to subtract uh, nine negatives. So we don't have, we can't possibly subtract anything that's not there right now. So the only way to introduce these nine, uh, nine negatives is to bring them in as as part of zeros. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, nine zeros in. Uh, so a zero again is made up of a positive and negative counter that doesn't change the value of anything yet. It just we're bringing them in uh, so we can work with them later. Okay. So now we can look again at two minus minus nine. So we can now subtract away minus 9. So I'm going to go ahead and blast away those negative 9 counters. And you can actually see now that I'm left with uh, 11 positives. So 2 minus minus 9 actually is 11. So on the number line, um, we have our caveman facing that uh, negative sign because he's subtracting. But because he's told he's subtracting a negative, he's actually, for the first time uh, in this part, where he's actually going to shuffle backwards because it's, you know he's he's uh, he's looking in that direction. But he's told you know don't do what you're inclined to do. Go you know shuffle back uh, because this is a negative number you're subtracting by. So he shuffles all the way back uh, to the 11 on the number line. 